When it comes to keeping all your precious PC components cool, an AIO cooler is undoubtedly the way to go. And if you're looking to buy one, I'm here to help you through today's video, where we'll take a look at the five best AIO coolers you can buy right now. From RGB-filled showstoppers to more muted performers, these all-in-one coolers will hopefully put an end to all your PC heat-up woes. Let's check it all out. We begin the list with the ID Cooling Frost Flow. Well known for making capable coolers with presentable price tags, this model by ID Cooling fits the bill perfectly, being one of the cheapest 240mm coolers on the market. For the specs, it supports all the latest Intel and AMD sockets, fans up to 1800 RPM, and is claimed to be pretty quiet at 30 decibels. It also has white LED lighting in the fans and pump, if you're into that kind of thing. As the name implies, this AIO tries to give you the most performance per dollar spent. It keeps prices low without skimping too much on features. The anti-leak tech is supposed to keep the liquid at a good pressure so you don't need to stress as much about leaks over time. Now, I'm not saying it's foolproof, but if you're new to AIOs and worried about leaks, then this feature may well appeal. For the money, this cooler can handle most CPUs just fine. Don't expect it to handle a souped-up i9, though. Those big boys need some serious cooling chops. But everything below that will stay nice and chill, even overclocked. The fans are pretty quiet, too, which is awesome for those working from home. At idle, it's whisper quiet, and even under load, it doesn't sound like a jet engine. But of course, nothing stays silent forever. If you start pushing a high-power chip or really push it in the overclocking department, you will start to hear more fan noise. But most of the time, it keeps things cool without distracting you, which is all you can ask at this price point, really. So if you're on a budget but still want 240mm cooling without your PC taking off, I'd definitely recommend the ID Cooling Frost Flow. Next, we have one from NZXT's third-generation cooler, the Kraken Elite, which is priced at a higher range than the ID Cooling model. But it's well worth that extra cost if you're seeking a balance between awesome looks and uncompromising performance without spending a lot. First off, the thing comes in a super slick all-white look, perfect for those sleek white builds most people adore these days. And those infinity mirror pump caps it's got are truly things of beauty, bouncing light around to make it look like endless LEDs. You can also control lighting and monitor temps effortlessly since Kraken works with NZXT's cam software too. You'll surely love how well integrated it all is. And let's not forget that the pump even has an extra RGB header, so you can plug in like six more Hue LED strips to sync your whole setup. Performance-wise, you're getting a 240mm radiator that comes with two of NZXT's AER RGB fans capable of speeds between 500 to 1500 RPM. So you can bet it'll handle anything you throw at it. Some of those 12-core CPUs pump out lots of heat, but this thing can take it. Build quality is fantastic as well, which you can guess from the bulk. NZXT even rates it for six years of continuous use, 60,000 hours technically. And the six-year warranty backing it up shows they trust their work too. You also won't have to worry about compatibility, since it comes with support for not only the latest AMD and Intel processors, but also those from a few years back. Sure, it costs more than some plain tower coolers out there, but let's be honest, you're getting performance, quality, and aesthetics all in one nice package. Next, we have the Lian Lee Li Galahad 2 Trinity Performance, the best you can get if you're seeking a 360mm AIO cooler. Lots of PC gamers these days have desktop cases large enough to house a 360mm AIO cooler. But how many of them have fantastic cooling performance at a very reasonable price and even have a spot of RGB lighting? The answer is this exact cooler. This is a meaty version of Leon Lee's standard Trinity model, and the three 120mm fans have two settings, low and high. Low's just fine for getting cooler performance better than many other 360mm setups, but switch to high and it'll blast heat away from your CPU like nothing else. There is an obvious downside to this, of course, and it's fan noise. In normal conditions, they're fine. Not great, but not bad either. But at max RPM with the high setting, they're really loud. Like, loud enough to distract you big time. But if that doesn't bother you and you need to cool a CPU spitting out 300 watt or more of heat, then the Trinity performance will certainly have no problem with that. With such outrageous performance, it's a shame that the cooler is somewhat bland looking. You can swap the pump head's cover to one of three different setups, Duo Infinity, Dazzle, and Sinkhole. And they do look very nice, but the supplied fans have no LEDs whatsoever. You could replace them with some of your own, or buy Leon Lee's separate RGB kit that attaches to the radiator. But given how cheap RGB fans are, you'd be right in thinking that it's a little unfair that such a premium cooler lacks full RGB lighting. 
But if that's no concern to you and you're happy to put up with the fan noise, then you won't find a more powerful 360mm cooler on the market right now. Let's now switch gears and talk about one of those big boys of coolers, the Corsair IQ H170i Elite Capellix XT. That sure is a mouthful of a name, but this thing more than lives up to it. With three 140mm fans on a 420mm radiator, this cooler absolutely towers over most others, and pictures truly don't do its size justice. Sure, such a monstrous cooler requires lots of room inside a PC case to mount it. Relatively few chassis models support 420mm radiators, and even those that do might not have sufficient room for the lengthy tubes. But rest assured, it absolutely will cope with any CPU you can strap it to. And if you do have room for it, then the payback isn't just outstanding thermal performance, but superb noise levels. Bigger fans don't need to spin as fast as smaller ones do to shift the same amount of air. And this particular H170i can be set to be whisper quiet, even under heavy load. Corsair rates it at 35.8 decibels maximum. The H170i Elite also comes in smaller versions if you can't fit the 420mm monster. But honestly, there are better options in the market than those price-wise, so I'd say going big is worth it. After all, absurdly long name aside, it's super quiet, has great cooling performance for a reasonable price, with tasteful RGB lighting. And finally, it's time to talk about our top pick, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 280A RGB. Many of you might be familiar with its predecessor, the Liquid Freezer 2, which is already super popular. And that's because it did its job amazingly well, thanks to a tiny fan in the main pump to help cool the motherboard's VRMs for such a low price. And the Freezer 3 just takes everything up a notch. It's available in multiple radiator sizes from 240mm up to a massive 420mm. And you've got options between two colors and also RGB and non-RGB. So, the Liquid Freezer 3 covers just about all possible use scenarios, with some important exceptions. The first of which happens to be Intel CPU socket support, limited to the newer 1200 and 1700 platforms only. That's because the cooler uses a redesigned mounting system that requires you to remove the default independent loading mechanism. The new bracket fits snugly over the CPU's heat spreader to maximize cooling. And thanks to an extra deep radiator, the freezer's cooling performance is superb, with the 280mm version easily better than most of the competition, even larger ones. The additional heft and unique mounting system does make it very fiddly to install in some PCs, especially if there isn't much room between the top of the motherboard and the case. But if it does fit, you'll be treated to outstanding cooling, all relatively quietly thanks to the use of Arctic's P14 140mm fans in the 280 model. Even at full speed, they aren't loud at all, which is quite remarkable. That's even with the additional VRM fan system, which is much larger than that in the Freezer 2. With 1,900 max RPM, it shifts a decent amount of air around it, which is great for keeping those vital motherboard components cool. Now, unlike Enze XT or Corsair, Arctic doesn't offer any software package for adjusting the RGBs, but you can make tweaks easily from the BIOS or a third-party app, which is nice. But for me, the standout is easily the price. You're seriously not going to find anything this high quality at these low prices. It's superb value for money, and it goes on sale constantly, too. The only real downsides are the finicky installation in some cases and limited Intel socket support. But otherwise, you simply can't do better. Awesome performance, super quiet and all, for a very reasonable cost. Thanks for sticking around. For more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the channel. Click the bell icon too, so you'll get notified every time we drop a new video at FlexiViews.